your cordless drill has a locking chuck, I can just about guarantee you that you've been using it wrong. Now the first step is to determine if you've got a locking chuck. Well, how do you do that? Well, you go ahead and you stick a bit in there, and when you tighten it up, if it makes this ratcheting sound, it's a locking chuck. Now, we've all been there. You're drilling away in something. You pull the drill back and what happens? The bit comes out. It sticks right in the board or the piece of metal, whatever you're drilling through. And you're thinking, what the heck? I tightened this thing down. What happened? Well, you didn't lock it. You ratchet it down as tight as you can, and then you turn it back one click. Hear that? It's locked now. This Milwaukee does it as well. It's not quite as audible, but it has an obvious detent that I can definitely feel when I turn it back. I couldn't believe it. I've used cordless drills with keyless chucks for years and had no clue. Now the chucks that don't ratchet, I don't know if those are locking chucks. I don't believe they are. Both the drills I have access to have locking chucks on them, so I can't tell. But if you do have a locking chuck, I can just about guarantee you that you've never locked it. All right guys, it's just that simple. One extra step and your bit won't come out. Please drop down in the comments below. Let me know if you knew about this. I mean, I had no clue until somebody told me last week. I'd be curious to see how many of you guys actually know about this. Please stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.